video in two whole weeks and I am sorry for that. If you notice, if you missed me and if you noticed that I wasn't posting, thank you for noticing. I love you for that. But we had visitors for two weekends and I had time for nothing. For filming, let alone editing, nothing. So I was unable to pose and I am sorry about that. I am sorry I, if you miss me. I miss you too. But I am back. So today I'm going to show you how to make a sleeping mask. Because since daylight savings begin, I have been unable to sleep late on the weekends. I wake up really early. Really. <laughs> I wake up really early during the week and on the weekends I like to sleep in at least a little bit but the sun doesn't let me it's on my face and it's really early in the morning so if you have this problem as well you will like this video because we're gonna make a sleep mask like I said but of course is an adorable one look at it it's a bunny and she's got a flower over here next to her ear and rosy cheeks and there you go see how cute is she don't you love it it's, of course it's gonna be a bunny but as always you can make it anything you want just by changing the shape of the ears I'm gonna show you how it looks because I think it's so cute isn't it so adorable I love it I'm just gonna keep it right here so if you're having the same problem as I am and you think this is adorable I'm gonna show you how you make it so I hope you like it if you haven't already and if you like cute and adorable DIYs then you should subscribe to Robin and Rose because that is what we do so let's just get started I used a piece of fluffy fabric for the mask for the face of the bunny and for the ears also this regular piece of fabric that is gonna be in the back of the face mask or the part that is touching that will be touching my face felt in black and pink I ended up only using the soft pink scissors needle and thread a little piece of elastic but you can also use ribbon and a hot glue gun with glue sticks I started by drawing the pattern in a piece of paper so I drew the shape of the mask and also I drew one of the eyes or one of the lashes because the bunny's eyes are going to be closed and she's a girl so she needs long lashes I measured the elastic by holding it behind my head from temple to temple and then I cut. Took both pieces of fabric, the fluffy fabric and the regular fabric and I put them together facing each other right sides together. Place the pattern on top of both of those and with a marker I trace all around it. Then I took my elastic and I put it in between both pieces of fabric, making sure that each end of the elastic is past the line that I just drew. In other words, each end of the elastic is going to be outside of the outline of the mask. So as of right now, you want to have the elastic tuck inside of the mask as if it was a little pocket. Remember that we have the right sides of the fabric in the inside facing each other. Later on, when we turn it right side out, the elastic is also gonna be on the outside. I secured everything with pins and then I just started to sew. I usually prefer to use my sewing machine, but I know there are some people that probably like to sew by hand better. Or perhaps you don't have a sewing machine, so I figure I'll give the hand sewing a try. And I 
did that all the way around, leaving only a little gap so I can later on turn the work right side out. So I cut off all of that excess fabric, I turn it right side out, and that's it! Then the only thing left to do is decorating. leftover fabric to cut two ears. I didn't make them too long, just a little short and rounded. I pinch the bottom of the ears in half and I sew them in place, just to give them more like a shape. Of course, I did the same thing in both ears and then I just sew them onto the sleep mask. Then out of black felt, I cut the lashes for the bunny. I didn't use the pattern I drew earlier because I drew it a little too big. So either way, I think it would have been kind of difficult to use the pattern with such small thing. So I just cut it by hand. Um, I tried to do both of them as equal as possible, both lashes, but again, they were kind of tiny. So I couldn't do them exactly the same, but I think they still look kind of cute and it does look like she's sleeping. Then with the light pink felt, I cut a little tiny heart that is going to be her nose and two small circles for her cheeks. I put all the pieces together with my hot glue gun and that's it, she's ready. How cute does she look? Although, I think she's still missing a little extra something. So I glued a small plastic flower next to her ear and now she looks adorable, as pretty as a sleeping bunny. What do you think? Isn't it so cute? I am not going to sleep anytime soon, I promise. I'm just so happy because it's so adorable. What do you think? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. I hope you make your own. And like I said, you can make it anything just by changing the shape of the ears. You can make it anything you want. So I think that's the best part about it. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, like it, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe. If you do, this kiss is for you. I'll see you on the next video. I promise it will be in a week. Bye.